Just a quick note on a notation before we do another example. Um, sometimes to indicate that we are integrating over one of these um, simple closed curve for the line integral, we end up using this um, integral symbol where there's a little circle in it. So it's this is the line integral over a simple closed curve C. Or in the second one, you'll notice there's a little orientation arrow to indicate the orientation of that closed curve. So whether it's a um, clockwise orientation or a counterclockwise orientation. So you might see that just as a note. Um, but let's take a look at another example. Let's try and evaluate the line integral over C of y cubed dx plus 3xy squared dy, where C is this curve drawn below, where we're going to have kind of this squiggly curve C here. Um, so already we might try and think about um, let's take a look at what Green's theorem would look like since this is a simple closed um, curve with a counterclockwise orientation. Um, so think of Green's theorem. because of the shape of that curve. So in Green's theorem, we would end up needing the partial of M with respect to Y, which in this case is the partial derivative with respect to Y of Y cubed, which is three Y squared. And we also need the partial with respect to N of X, which is the partial with respect to X of three X y squared, which is also 3y squared. So notice what we have in this example is we have a conservative vector field that we're integrating. Now let's actually remember back to the, our last section. Um, so from a previous theorem, because C is closed, we already actually know that the line integral of C of this y cubed dx plus 3xy squared dy, because that was a conservative vector field, is going to be zero. So we could be done at this point already. That was a theorem. But how does this work and what does it look like with Green's theorem? Because we also should be able to, in theory, use Green's theorem. Um, so let's just see what it looks like. In Green's theorem, we would have switched from the line integral. So this y cubed dx plus 3xy squared dy. We would switch to the double integral over r of the partial of n with respect to x minus the partial of m with respect to y with respect to area. Now let's put those partials in. The partial of n with respect to x was 3y squared, and then the partial of m with respect to y was also 3y squared. So notice what we're doing in Green's theorem is we're just integrating 0 over some region r, which no matter what is going to integrate to 0. So either way, we get the same result, which is good. We should have a consistent um, direction there. Um, so essentially kind of a, a thing that this points out is that Green's theorem is particularly useful in things like the previous example where our vector field is not conservative. If our vector field is conservative, Green's theorem is, is fairly uh, just not, not necessary because what we have is we already know that that integral is going to um, become zero. That line integral will be zero by the fact that um, vector fields are conservative if and only if the integral, the line integral on a closed curve is zero. So it is consistent with that theorem, which is a good thing. Um, but that's kind of a, an interesting one to point out before we look at other examples.